Hey you guys and welcome back and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. Today we are going to be packing up our house as well as cleaning, organizing, and sorting through all of our things. I know you guys are probably wondering why we are packing up and truth be told, life has just taken us down a different path that once scared us but now has opened our eyes to seeing some things in a different light. This has been some time ago, so looking back and seeing the packing and the process, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. It wasn't an easy process to get through by any means. This all happened so fast, and honestly, my emotions were just running during this time. I'll be sharing packing, moving, cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I also have some sneak peek insiders toward the end of the video for you guys, so you guys can get pumped about the next video, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Fantasia. I am a wife as well as a mother to three beautiful babies. Here on my channel, I post motivational cleaning, organizing, and just all things motherhood. If you enjoy motivation like this, consider subscribing. I have this motivation and so much more motivation to share with you guys. Today I'm starting in my daughter London's room. We already had some boxes packed in here so I wanted to finish it off. I didn't at the time know which things we could take and have room for so I kind of just had to use my best judgment and get rid of the things that held little to no value to London or myself. London was super excited to be packing up her room which kind of surprised me because we were getting rid of things and moving and packing even though we've done it before in her life. This was all kind of new and abrupt and I was just really scared about how the kids would feel. So with that being said, she was super excited about the process. She actually helped me pack her room and the other rooms in the house. She kept me so uplifted during this time even though my emotions were a little high. I really did appreciate my little love bug you guys because she sticks up under me and I just love her so much and she was just so adorable during this time. The boxes you guys see us working on are filled with London new bedroom decor as well as new bedding. I didn't get a chance to put it all out yet and share it with you guys, so I packed it all up along with toys and things from her closet. Her new room fits her so well, we love this space and so does London. I do have that film to share with you guys as well, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Here's a quick look at London's room with none of her personal belongings. This was our last official night at the house and it was different, but we did have family here to have some fun with us after packing. Next, I'll be moving into the boys room to pack all of their personal belongings. We wanted this move to just be as quick and as painless as possible with all the changes already going on. 
I already made sure to label our boxes according to tape color and label. Red indicated bedroom and I also made sure to write with a sharpie what the main contents were so the movers, aka my husband and father-in-law, could move them and that didn't get in our way. Packing and purging things and not knowing what we could take or have space for, I did just decide to donate any old clothes and toys. We did keep shoes and all books and bedding and wall decor and only toys that fit into our organizing bins. I was so nervous about the space for the boys and the bunk beds they had. With it being oversized and the fact that we just took it apart, I was just really nervous. I do have a video for you guys sharing the process and organizing in a new bedroom because it was not easy and a lot of changes were made that we didn't really anticipate. Our kids had so many toys and it was so hard to get rid of things, but I did keep in mind that the holidays are seriously in full effect. So we enjoy making the space and surprisingly, they still have so many toys. So I saved our bedroom packing for last because with how big the space is, moving and packing did scare me because I really just knew we probably wouldn't find a room quite as big as this one. So we have collected a lot of things, small things mainly that I didn't really want to get rid of, but I knew we absolutely had to purge some of it. So as I was watching this clip back of me packing the clothes away and putting it into this box, I remembered this funny story that I really wanted to share with you guys because you know, it made my day. These are the clothes that I had decided to donate or give away. And whenever we were packing this box, London and I, we were talking and I don't know how I ended up saying donations, but you guys, London was so convinced that we were packing this box and we were giving those clothes to Donatia. So the whole entire time we were packing up our bedroom, London just kept saying, mommy, who is Donatia? Like, who is she and why are you giving her your clothes? And I'm like, London, we are donating these clothes. And she just kept saying Donatia. It was so, so, so funny.
One thing that I did not want to get rid of, you guys, were my shoes. I am a shoe hoarder. Let me know if you can relate down below. I have so many pairs of shoes. Well, I feel like I do. And I didn't want to get rid of a single pair. So I'm excited to be sharing with you guys how we're going to make this work so I can continue to keep getting my shoes because I love collecting my shoes. So whenever I was packing our vanity, I did realize that I had a ton of small things like hair accessories, makeup, hair products, just a lot of things like that, you guys. A lot of things that didn't really fit into the vanity that I have here. So at some point, I just started to throw everything into this basket because I knew once we got to our new home, I would try to figure out a way to organize it and just make it work, whatever the space would be. I am, I was a little concerned at this point, but again, I didn't want to get rid of any of my things, you guys. I am a hoarder when it comes to my personal things sometimes but I didn't get rid of it I kept as many things as I could when it comes to our hair accessories and hair products because you never know what you might need so I'm excited to be sharing this new journey with you guys The closet that we have here in this space, it was like a bigger walk-in closet even though you guys can't really see that right here on camera. But we had a ton of things at the top of the closet and a lot of things in the back of the closet that I hadn't organized or gone through probably since we moved in. So I had a ton of things I had to declutter and sort through and I did end up throwing, I think about 70% of the things away in our closet. So I was really excited and I felt really good to finally just get this space clean, organized, even though I was packing it all the way for a new closet.
So our bedroom was completely neglected during this time while we were moving. We didn't come here unless we were sleeping or packing, and we were just on the go a lot trying to get things set in stone. My feelings were so high, I couldn't help but push myself to clean and organize even more and also keep afloat for our babies. We were approaching Jaden's seventh birthday, so we couldn't lose the momentum as parents, no matter how hard it seemed. So I just went ahead and cleaned our room, finished packing and putting all of our new decor away. I tried my best to pack things so it wouldn't get broken Broken, but I did run out of like wrapping papers so things wouldn't get broken and it was a little hard to you know pack it but we got through it we got it done and this was the last room that we got packed and put away. Jaquen did come along to help pack because I did not want to get rid of anything that he may have wanted to take to the new space. So he did come in to help purge some things and figure out what he wanted to keep and then pack some boxes and get them moved out. It was really hard figuring out what we were going to take to the new space and what we were going to sell, but we did figure it out and our space really has come together. So I'm excited to be sharing that with you guys. We did keep some things that we are seeing now that we can purge and get rid of still to this day. So we are going to be sharing that with you guys. Well, I do have those videos filmed to share with you guys. So I will be getting new organizing things for our new space. And I'm excited because there's some organizing things that I haven't been able to get for our other homes. So I'm really excited about that. When it came down to the big furniture pieces and also the TVs on the wall, Jaquen took over in that category and got things done, all while I just continued to clean the home and also pack things and put away so they could move it onto the truck.
Here in our bathroom, I kind of wanted to go through our medicine cabinet because even before packing and moving out of our home, we did need to go through a lot of the medicine that we had because a lot of it was expired. Some of it had fallen over and spilled out. And some of the things were just sitting there, you know, we hadn't used it in a long, long time. So while I was packing and putting things away, I did get rid of a lot of medicine that we no longer needed or just was expired. So here I just want to stop and share with you guys how things were looking. I was honestly so surprised. I was, like I said, you guys, my feelings were high and things were just feeling so different at this point in time. It just hit me. It really hit me in the face at this point that we were moving out once I officially saw our bedroom packed up and put away and in this state. But like I said, we had to keep the momentum going and we did. So here's how our room was looking once everything was done and completely packed away. I also want to share with you guys how the boys room was looking because I think I forgot to share that with you guys earlier. But here's how everything was looking once everything was packed and put away. Like I said, this was our last official night at the house so I did keep our bedding and things like that down so we can have some sense of normal here at the house in our last night. But the next day, um, my father-in-law and Jake, when they went ahead and packed everything up and put it away and they did it super fast I was really surprised so once I was done with all of our bedrooms and we pretty much had everything packed away that we could on this night I went ahead and went into our bathroom got it cleaned and packed everything away in here we hadn't used this bathroom whenever we were moving out because we had some plumbing issues and things were just in chaos at this point so I didn't need to do a deep clean because for one I couldn't really do it so I did as much as I could at this point also went in and clean like behind the scenes just to get some things done but aside from that this is the very last thing and then I'll be sharing with you guys how the whole empty house looks and how everything looks whenever it's all packed up and put away and right before we officially leave
before we head out, I wanted to share how our main living space looked before we packed everything up and officially moved. We have made lots of changes already and I'm excited to be sharing it with you guys soon. Of course, we missed the space already. However, we are very happy and have been loving our, our new space just the same, if not more. I wanted to share everything clean and set up and then how everything looked packed up and put away and onto the moving truck. Highs just to breathe, yeah. I need that. Take it all in now. I see what I'm asking for is just some space and some time. Then I'll be alright. I've been having thoughts in my mind. I can't get up. Tell me things I can't say myself from you and no.
So that is the end of today's video and unfortunately the end of our time in this space. It's most definitely been the realest moment of our lives. However, changes were made and they are appreciated. I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you for making this experience a happy one whenever we shared our precious moments. I have so much filmed and so much ready to share with you guys. So don't forget if you enjoy motivation like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!